Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to localize your real estate website. Localizing your real estate website is very helpful for improving your search engine ranking within your own local area. Plus, it increases the likelihood of your website generating leads within your area of focus. To localize your website, access the dashboard. From your dashboard, click on Content and Widgets Manager. We're going to use three specific widgets to localize your website. That's the Map Search widget, Featured Listings widget, and Property Search widget. Before adding these widgets into the checkered areas of your website, we need to first navigate to the page that we want to edit. So if we're editing the home page, the first thing we need to do is access the home page. Now we can drag and drop the widgets into the checkered areas within this page. The first widget for localization is the map search widget. So we're going to search for it in our toolbar. And we're going to drag and drop this into a checkered area within our website page. Once done, we're going to edit the settings. Here you can enter the location that you want to prioritize for your map search. You can also set a minimum and maximum price range, choose whether or not to showcase for sale or for rent listings first, and choose the number of bedrooms and number of bathrooms of homes that are being showcased as priority. You can also choose the property type and sort listings by high to low, low to high, from newest to oldest or by number of bed and baths. You may also choose the way that the property listings are positioned in your map search. The listings can be shown at the bottom of the map, on the left side of the map, or show the map only. You can choose to showcase listings belonging only in your office, your own listings, or all listings from your real estate board. Once you've made the necessary changes, click on Save and close the dialog box. And here's our map search. The next widget we're going to use for localization is the featured listings widget. So we're going to go ahead and drag and drop this into a checkered area of the website. We're going to click on the edit button and edit the title to the name of the city that we want to feature. You can select the type of listings that are going to be showcased in this section. You can choose your office listings, your own listings, all of the listings from your real estate board, or specific listings by listing number, cities, and postal code. We're going to select cities, and then we're going to enter the city listings we want to showcase. Under type of property, we're going to choose whether we want to showcase all types of listings or only residential and commercial. You can also choose the status of these listings that you're going to showcase. And last but not least, you can also choose listings by price range and choose whether or not to showcase one listing at a time or multiple listings. Once you've made the changes, close the dialog box. And just like that, we've added our featured listings for our local area. The third widget that we're going to add is the property search widget. On all Incom website themes, the property widget should have been added at the very top of the front page of your website. Because the property search has already been added, we're going to edit it. We're going to edit our property search to be localized for the area that we want to focus on. And we're going to limit the search results for a specific city. You can choose to showcase all residential or commercial listings only. You can also hide sold properties. Once you're done configuring your property search, click on save and then close the dialog box. And just like that, we configured our property search widget for Toronto. To view all the changes you've made in your website, scroll down to the very bottom of your widgets manager and go back to dashboard. And from your dashboard, click on your domain. And here you'll find all the changes we've made to localize your website for search.